Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, a lot of you have been asking me about getting the HPD package for the 22 Sport. Well, I didn't want the dealer package for 1400 bucks. I can do it a lot cheaper than that and probably make it look a little better. So I was flipping through Facebook the other day and I come across this and I was like, well, it looks pretty cool. They got a couple different ones. So I picked this one. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be throwing that spoiler on. I got the spoiler from Spoiler King. And we're going to check this out. So let's unbox it and see what we're looking at. Sorry for the wind if there's a bunch of wind. It's a little windy out today. Just got done storming. So I figured now would be a perfect time to do it. The rain has ended. The sun come out. Let's take a peek at this thing. Get a nice little license plate frame. And this is what it looks like. So it comes with a sticker as well. It comes with the two-sided tape already on it, which was awesome. I was hoping I didn't have to put that on already there, which is wonderful. So she's actually pretty pretty heavy for a spoiler. It's, it's rubber, it feels like. Very flexible, so it should be really easy to put on. It also comes with instructions. It comes with a primer adhesive promoter and an alcohol pad uh, to clean off the trunk. Now, I'm not using it because I'm going to paint the thing. I'll use it when I officially bond it to the car. But we're just test fitting it today, so let's give it a shot, see what she looks like, see how it lines up. Is it even going to be worth painting? Who knows? Let's find out. All right, so what you want to do, you want to make sure that your area is nice and clean. I've already cleaned it up. I'm just going to go over it one time real quick. All right, so that's done and nice and dry. Let me go grab the spoiler. Ooh. Now, as you can see, I've already taken the plastic off. So I'm ready to put it on here. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna line it up on either side. It doesn't matter which side you start on. Just line it up. And you want this edge here to line up with the edge of the trunk. So you just start at one end and just work your way down, making sure it's aligned. And it's rubber, so it's easily, easily movable. So you can go along with the edge really easy. Okay, so I'm a little off. Doesn't line up perfectly. So, pull it back off. That's why you don't want to push down real hard initially. You might want to the edge, so the edge stays while you're moving it around, but. So I'm gonna try this side first. I'm gonna leave it off the edge, just maybe a quarter inch. Because I literally had, I had it on the edge when I did it earlier and I was probably off a half inch, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, it is on. looks pretty good hopefully in the next week or so it's going to be in the body shop getting painted as well as the emblems i'm going to get the emblems done too that's what i meant about the hpd package i'm going to do it myself i am going to do the back ones in a certain color and i'm going to do the front ones in a different color so i'm looking forward to see how that turns out but i am going to get this painted so i am just going to take it right back off but i wanted to show you guys how it fit if it's worth even buying it was 170 bucks i bought it off uh, facebook which you saw there at the beginning of the video all in all, it looks pretty good. Lines up really well. It's about, we got about a quarter inch 
off either side of the trunk. All in all, pretty good product. I'm debating on getting the roof one before I send all the stuff to the body shop to get it done. So, might be a roof one coming up. I don't know, we'll see. So when I bought the Type R, a week later, I ordered a short ram intake from PRL. They've been putting it on back order for the last two months. I finally got an email saying it is shipped and it is on its way. So that will be the next video. We'll be throwing a short ram intake on the Type R. I'm going to take it for a drive and we're going to do some pretty cool sounds. I'm going to put a mic under the hood and we're going to see what it really sounds like. So I'm pretty interested in that. I hope you are too. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Hope you're back for the next video. And as always, this is your boy Miller and I will see you in the next one.